I'm Jen, your local New York City guide, and today we are exploring New York Botanical Garden. This year's theme is all about Singapore. Let's go. just found my new favorite orchid. This is the Dancing Lady Orchid. Look how cute they are. Orchids can be as small as 1 16th of an inch in diameter to as large as 25 feet tall and come in all colors and patterns. Orchids are the largest and most evolved flowering plant family with about 30,000 wild species growing around the world. Travel to Singapore by taking the subway uptown or even faster the Metro North train from Grand Central to the Botanical Garden stop right across from the Museum of Plants. This orchid is actually named after Aquafina who recently starred in Crazy Rich Asians which takes place in Singapore. This is the first year that the New York Botanical Garden named an orchid in the collection after a public figure. The Vanda hybrid orchid is Singapore's national flower and is also known as the rainbow flower since it is one of the few orchids that flowers in all colors of the rainbow. The orchid show pays tribute to two of Singapore's top horticultural attractions. The exhibit includes a walkway of arches decorated with flowering plants inspired by Singapore Botanic Gardens and super trees inspired by the vertical habitats in the gardens by the bay. The 18 solar-powered trees soar 50 meters high and make energy to power lighting and move water through the conservatories. Singapore Botanic Gardens is the only tropical garden in the world that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Within the gardens, you can see the National Orchid Garden with the orchid-covered arches. It is a challenge to ensure all the flowers bloom around the same time, but it is done with loving care by Mark Hachidorian, the garden's director of Glasshouse Horticulture and senior curator of the orchids. Actually, I do have a pretty cool job. In, in the realm of things I could be doing professionally, I think this is pretty good. Well, my job here is not just with the orchid collection, but many of our other tropical plant collections. But most people know me as the orchid guy here at the New York Botanical Garden, <laughs> in which I get to shape, grow, curate, and create some of these incredible exhibitions like the Orchid Show, now in its 17th year here at the New York Botanical Garden. So my job is to not only participate in the design, installation, but really also the sourcing and growing a lot of the plants that you see that's a part of these exhibitions. Three to five thousand plants at any one time. I get to essentially paint the conservatory with flowers every year uh, for the orchid show here at the Botanical Garden. I do have a greenhouse at home. It's not that I don't get enough plants at work, but uh, orchids and horticulture has really been a lifelong passion for me. I've been growing orchids since I was about 10 years old, uh, and it's I've taken it to not only an extreme and made a career out of it, but it is my hobby as well, in which I grow, exhibit, cultivate, uh, and not only learn about orchids, but sort of take my work home with me. And for me, the celebration of orchids has been really a lifelong thing. I've traveled the world, gone to incredible places, all through orchids, and met some really amazing, amazing people. The orchid community is a huge community of people, thousands and thousands of people around the world. Whether they be just growing one or two orchids at home or they're crazy hobbyists like myself, uh, it's really been an incredible adventure to be able to not only see and explore the world, but celebrate uh, nature and biodiversity through orchids. Why Singapore? Well, when you think about orchids and orchid diversity, Singapore actually naturally comes to mind for a couple of different reasons. Not only is Singapore historically a very important country in terms of the development, hybridization, cultivation, and export of orchids, both as plants and cut flowers, they have an orchid as their national flower, but they're also a center 
a global center for tropical horticulture, not just orchids. The Singapore country itself is with its botanical gardens, now Singapore Botanical Garden and Gardens by the Bay, celebrates tropical horticulture, orchids, plant biodiversity, and they really are an incredible, incredible culture because not only has biodiversity become very important in which they are essentially a garden within a city, they also have incorporated this into their everyday lives in creating incredible green spaces, incredible botanical gardens, and of course, incredible orchids. Of course, with the orchid show every year, we have to come up with unusual and creative ways to display the plants. And this year, we're working with the Singapore Botanical Garden and Gardens by the Bay, using some of their iconic display elements like the arches full of orchids, as well as the super tree, which you see a small representation just behind me, in which the orchids, along with other unusual tropical plants, are displayed in for their full glory to not only showcase the beauty of the blooms, but also show how the plants are grown at these gardens. Thank you so much for watching this tour of the New York Botanical Gardens Orchid Show. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe and bell button so you don't miss a future video. I do a ton of content all around New York. As always, say yes to new adventures and I'll see you next time. Bye. So yesterday it snowed, therefore I wore two jackets to come here, but you're not gonna believe it. It's so humid in here. My hair is like growing and blowing up with the frizz right now. Gotta film these intros real quick.